forward as you are. <laughs> Puneet Sahani is also with us. He's somebody who had another suggestion. La the last time around, he had said that make India no-fly area for anybody holding a Canadian passport. So that means they cannot fly over Indian airspace at all on any commercial aircraft. Phenomenal suggestion there. Ab to lagta hai Puneet Sahani, they must do it. They have to take some hard steps in the sense we as a country. Jai Mahabharati Anand Bhai. So I'll just like make a point, you know, the sir also speak uh, very well. I'll just give you a perspective. It's not they put a tableau. Hmm. What these monsters have done, you know, they have paraded through street six kilometers for six hours. No, six are what? Two, two percent, two and a half percent of Canada. Hmm. No, you know, Canada, all over the world, people are living and what they must be thinking, what, what kind of people are these people who are wearing turban? That for six hours, from noon to 6 p.m., hmm. through the streets, they have paraded a woman with her hands up and, you know, these people are, you know, pumping bullets into her and they are celebrating her. Are we Darindas? And this is what I'm saying, you know, like, and again, you know, I don't know how you feel by criticizing this government. I will show you the poster. I got the poster of this people. Hmm. So there are four people. One of the person is the, you know, nephew of Bindranwala is in Pakistan, Lakhvir Singh Rode, yeah. his son. He is the person who is running this. The other person is oh, oh, some uh, Balkaranjit Singh Gill, something hmm. like that. Hmm. He has been removed from the blacklist. Hmm. Again, what when I said you make a no-fly list, I was saying, you know, from uh, no-fly list to make a uh, blacklist hmm. to make a no-fly list, my idea was to increase the deterrent. And yeah. this government has removed the deterrent. They are removing blacklist. And, you know, they, they say, like, we have done some big favor by removing the blacklist. Hmm. You have, you know, blackened our face in front of the whole world. You know, what kind of, I am a Sikh, I am ashamed. You know, like, we were, we grew up proud to be Sikhs. Who will want his kids to see that? You know, look at this, you know, they are parading, these animals are parading that, you know, that this woman had been killed. And, you know, I have a lot of disagreement with Mrs. Gandhi. Mm. But let's get, get let's get yeah. thing very, very clear. Mm. Mrs. Gandhi, she, so many people got killed because she sent with the explicit order, don't fire that the Akal Takht or the Golden Temple. You, Mrs. Gandhi, you know, when the bullets were still being fired from the Golden Temple, it was very dangerous. And actually a bullet went next to Gyanis Singh. Mm. You know, the, the it had not been calmed down. Mrs. Gandhi went to Golden Temple and rubbed her forehead. Mrs. Gandhi, she was warned by the intelligence that you remove these people. Mm. And she said, I will not remove these people because I don't want to send the message that Sikhs can't be trusted in India. Mm. And these monsters who had sworn to protect this woman, they have they pumped bullet into this, you know, unarmed woman that they're sworn to protect. And what, what kind of nonsense is this? And, you know, these people are being celebrated. And, you know, it's not just, uh, you know, this became a news now. Mm. So the thing is, the Indi we don't work with principle. We work with uh, noise uh, We when there is an outrage. So now everybody is saying this. But these people, I want to ask this Mr. McKay or whatever he is mm. of this High Commissioner of... Uh, this people, the same thing. Maybe they showed it and it was such vulgar that people got disgusted that they're parading through the streets. But the, the portraits of these monsters are in almost every Khalistani Gurdwara in Canada. If he really means his condemnation, then he should say we, re we will remove these portraits who have murdered the Indian Prime Minister. Mm. If it is not, then it is just playing uh, good cop and bad cop. And these these uh, Canadians, I, I, I have nothing against the Canadian people, but I'm saying this government, this mm. will not learn till you, you know, set a deterrent to them. And we are not setting the deterrent, we are removing the deterrent. And you, what 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 favor you have done to the Sikhs? Mm. Our face has been blackened in front of the entire world mm. when they when they took out for six hours. Yeah. So I am really really disgusted with what has happened. Please go ahead. Uh, Anand, uh, sorry, uh, I want to really make a very important point to just you know what you said. Mm. So this is what we believe. I give facts for everything. Mm. So we say like Sikhs are against it. I give you an example. There is a Sikh parliamentarian from this very area, mm. from where they have taken the tableau. It's a Punjabi dominated area. It's called Brampton. Mm. And the member of parliament from there was Mr. Amazing Sangha, a yeah. Jatsik. Mm. And he stood up in the parliament that this, you know, like this uh, Khalistan extremism is real. He was quoting the uh, uh, lo local IB of which is CSIS of Canada. Mm. That this is true, Khalistan extremism is there and, you know, some politicians are supporting it. Mm. Trudeau threw him out of Liberal Caucus, from the party caucus. And that, that guy's political career has been destroyed and he's running a law practice now. So it's not that they give space to this Khalistani element. They destroy the political career of Sikhs who speak against this. Against and, the spe and the Sikh who spoke against it was not somewhere from, you know, who doesn't know. He was from this very community and chosen by this very people. Hmm. So this terrorism 
is being you know like we we are being uh, 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 defamed by this trudeau and i give you another example you know his uh, uh, trudeau's national security advisor on this very same day yeah. when this tableau was running she said indian government is interfering in canada now you see this khalistan referendum that are they are running in canada so by first of all they say this is freedom of speech but do you know where they are gathering all this khalistanis it's community uh, centers so it's government land mm. it's not in somebody's house that they are doing this so they are you know you can get a community center for normal people so, so the, they so are the using government the by the uh, knowingly or unknowingly the government is actually sponsoring uh, becoming a state sponsor of uh, secessionism not terrorism here but a state sponsor of secessionism or direct assault on the sovereignty and leaders of another nation this is insult Absolutely. to a former prime minister of india this is a collective assault on india so this is beyond just political corridors it's, it's a bipartisan position that we as a nation have to take that you dare not allow anybody to insult the prime minister or former prime minister no matter what issues we have or don't have with our prime minister our prime minister is our prime minister you dare not insult indira gandhi that's a position Anand, india has to take puneet yeah anand ji aapki baat uh, you are saying what i'll just say move it to bipartisan it is a national thing and you should yeah. push you should needle the aam aadmi party which is in punjab which is silent there aam aadmi party should also condemn this what has happened in you know this they have defamed the punjabis and the sikhs there and now nobody has said and now some congress people are coming and i welcome that but you should it's a national thing it's beyond by uh, by parties aam aadmi party has not said it and you should put pressure on them to give uh, give a statement on this no.